So here we have the Toyota Auris Estate on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat and this vinyl boot liner as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the right-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. On the left-hand side, we have the power meter for the car. So that will let you know whether the vehicle is charging or the battery is charging whether you're driving in eco mode or the power band for the car. You can also see what gear the vehicle is in over there. We're in neutral at the moment. In the middle, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. The information there can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer and car information. And beneath that, the total miles are 20,216. We back out to the steering wheel. The buttons I was using to change that information are on the right-hand side. Uh, we've also got lane departure warning system over there and cruise control and on the left hand side stereo and phone controls the phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up to the car and that is done over on the touch screen just here uh, so firstly with regards to music which is the menu we're on at the moment we have am fm and dab radio auxiliary input bluetooth audio as well we've got cd player ipod input usb input loads of ways to listen to your music in this car We've also got a full color reversing camera, which you can see being displayed there. We also have the lines that let you know what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image being shown on the screen. Working our way down from that, we have the climate control. So you can adjust the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in, the fan speed, and the temperature. Once you're happy with those settings, that button there will turn your air conditioning on, and you'll see that you get the uh, light to uh, let you know that that is turned on. You can, if you wish to, just hit auto. In doing so, the car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for, which you can hear it doing now by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that whenever you wish to, put it back on your own setting here as well. And all settings will also show up on the main screen, as does the satellite navigation, which is a full color display. There's a full video showing how that works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel. Below all of that, we have driver and passenger heated seats. We can turn off the traction control. We have our USB and auxiliary inputs, a 12 volt charging socket. That button there will put the vehicle into park and then you have reverse, neutral and drive down here. You can put the vehicle in eco mode, power mode, or if there's enough charge, you can force it into electric vehicle mode from here as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call us at any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.